Hello. Our next video is on and or not. I was going to put a little and in here, and or and not, but I thought that would look a little funny. So uh, these words have specific meanings in probability, so we're just going to make sure you understand that. Um, here we have a bunch of shapes below. And if I asked you, what is the probability that a shape is purple and rectangle? Oh, rectangle. Well, a rectangle is a square, uh, so uh, those look pretty squarish, but let's, we know at least they're a rectangle. Um, so if, if it's purple and a rectangle, it looks like there are three of them. Out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 items all together. So 3 out of 10 would be the answer. Because these are the only ones that are both purple and rectangles. Now if we want to find something that was a circle or blue, the word or means it can be in either category. So uh, we would count circle or a, a blue circle, blue, uh, circle, circle, and circle. So now we have six items. So that six out of ten is either a circle or is blue. Notice if it's a circle and blue, it isn't counted twice. It's just count once, counted once. And uh, so hopefully that makes sense. And now finally, the not, what's the probability that it is not green? Well, there are three that are green, so that means that there are seven that are not green. So seven out of ten is my answer. Now, if I roll one die, find the probability that the number is even and a prime number. So from my sample space of rolling one die, the probability that's even and a prime number. So these are the only ones that are even, two, four, and six prime numbers zero. These are even. Uh, prime numbers are two, three, and five. So the only one that is in both of them is number two. So that is one value, which is one out of our six values. So our probability is one sixth. Find a probability that the number is even or a prime number. So if we take our sample space, Now we're looking for it's either going to be even or it's going to be a prime number. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five of the values fit that. So five out of six is my answer for that problem. Now find the probability that it is not a prime number. So now I fill this out. Prime numbers are 2, 3, and 5. So if it's not, it's 1, 2, 3 out of 6, which we can reduce to 1 half. Now if two dice are rolled, what's the probability that the sum is not a 3 nor 8? So it's not a 3, nor is it 8. So if we look at this, so uh, 3 is going to be here. 8 is this diagonal. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if we know there's 36 outcomes, if I subtract 7, that means there's 29 that are not. So we know that this is 29 out of 36. Now. If this, the next one says two dice are rolled, what's the probability the first die is a four and the second die is greater than two? All right, so the first die is a four. I'll erase my previous one. Uh, first die is four. That is uh, this top one. First die is a four. And then it says, and the second die is greater than two. So, and the second die is greater than two, that means that one has to be here. So there's only one, two, three, four circumstances where that happens. 
out of all 36, which will reduce down to 1 ninth. Now if I said what's the probability the first die is 4 or the second one is greater than 2, we can go back and if the second die is greater than 2, that covers all of these. So that is 4, 8, uh, 12, 16, 20, 24. Uh, 25, 26. So now that one is going to be 26, 36. Alright, hopefully you can do the homework on your own.